change. I should never have believed it possible. Rot. Stupid, stupid rot. Idiots, the lot of you. What is this world coming to? Oh, oh uh, pardon me. Uh, I thought I was quite alone. You were referring to the dancing? Yes, the dancing. My word. Preposterous, isn't it? You mean so unconventional? Uh, no, that's hardly, hardly the word for it. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Hardly the word for it. These coming out parties are not what they used to be when I was... Coming there. out, coming out. Uh, nobody seems to be in these days. The young ladies, I mean. The young ladies. <laughs> yes, yes, the young ladies. Well, uh, pardon my word, but they don't seem to have anything to come out of these days. I mean, look at them. They're, they're all arms and legs and limbs, madam. Won't you sit down, Colonel? That's general to you, madam. Oh, pardon me. Yes, we were speaking of the dancing. You see, the world moves so fast nowadays, and I suppose the dancers must keep up with the world. The world, the world, running away with itself. It was different when we were young, but we must be tolerant. We are old people now. Mm. Uh, oh, uh, uh, I beg your pardon, madam. No, no, not old. Middle-aged, perhaps, but not old. <laughs> Yes, that's it. Middle-aged. There goes that infernal music again. That racket. It's, it's like the tom-toms one hears in Africa. Except <laughs> far worse, in fact. But I suppose you're right. Times do change. But we seem to be going backward rather than forward. But I guess we must accept the facts. <sighs> Unfortunately. I had hoped, I had hoped that when I accepted this invitation, I would have found something even remotely close to my youth here. But pardon my word, they've done over the whole house. Oh. You've been here before? Yes, yes, done over the whole house and in this horrible, modern way, too. No, no, you see, I know this house quite well, and I believe nothing has changed. Nothing. No, nothing's changed. Uh, well, it seems changed, yes, it seems changed, but perhaps it is I who has uh, changed. Perhaps. You know, when one grows old... Old, madam. <laughs> I should say, middle-aged. When one reaches... Middle-aged, middle-aged, when I'm just in the prime of my life. Just in the prime. <sighs> Don't feel a day over 20. But, you see, uh, the war all this, uh, they still call me Richard. Richard? Yes, and at the East Indian United Service Club, well, <laughs> they call me Dick. Not to my face, mind you, but they call me Dick. Richard, the East Indian United Service Club. Uh, may I ask? Yes, and as you see, I'm not so old, madam. Why, I've accomplished a great deal in my time under her Majesty, <coughs> that is, His Majesty's service. It was 41 years ago today, in fact, that I went off and joined the East Indian United Service, and my, for a young lad, I've seen service. 41 years? 41 years ago? Quite, quite. And as I was saying, I'd hoped to find something even remotely close to my youth here, some of the old nooks and corners and faces. Ah, uh, yes, the faces. One in particular. Then you... Yes, yes, I suppose every youngster is until he gets his senses about him. I was madly in love at the time. 
Foolishly so, in fact. Couldn't live without her. She was a clever little thing. Pretty. Very pretty, as I recall it. Hey, uh, yes, uh, blue eyes and brunette hair. That sort of girl. But you, you quite forgot her when you went away? <sighs> yes, quite. Um, life in the service, it gets pretty busy, you know? Besides, there's hunting, polo, that sort of thing. And married someone else? Never, no, no, uh, upon my word, uh, no. Um, never married, in fact, ha hadn't the time. And the, the young lady? Uh, dare I say, she's the mother of a large family now. Oh, yes, how times do change. You see, uh, I was madly in love with her at the time, you understand, but, but the family, her family, you understand, uh, rather objected to me. And so I broke off the whole affair and joined the East Indian United Service Club, and I've been quite content ever since. Yep. Quite content. Yes? And you haven't tried to see the young lady? Since he returned? Oh, see her? See her? No, no. Um, you see, that would that would be rather embarrassing for both of us. Uh, you must understand, we were uh, practically engaged at the time. Uh, but that is, I hadn't gone right out to saying it. Um, some things are better left uh, understood, so to speak. But you went away and left. Not exactly left her. Let's see. Um, hmm. 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 Yes, uh, quite. In fact, I do recall asking her to marry me. And she refused? Uh, did she refuse? Did she refuse? Um, let's see. Ah, yes. I remember now. She, she told me that we would have to think it over very carefully. Her exact words, in fact, very carefully. And I remember she crinkled up her little snub nose. Sir, uh, yes, her little snub nose. Uh, mind you, it was a it was a nice little nose. And did you think it over carefully? Very carefully? <laughs> Not at all, in fact. Ah, uh, you know, I was a bit of a wild dog in those days. Uh, <laughs> my pride was hurt. Uh, like most young men, you understand, but here I was, uh, expecting her to fall into my arms and live there happily ever after. Uh, not exactly in my arms, mind you, but... Uh, As your wife, I understand. As my wife. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. You were quite the romantic youth. <laughs> Very, very exceedingly so. Uh, I must have been reading Disraeli's novels at the time. Rubbish. And you, you quite lost all trace of the young lady? Quite. Oh, I was a conceited young ass. Like most young men, you understand. Wouldn't have written for worlds. Then, later on, I read in the Times that Anne... Anne? Uh, yes, Anne. Anne, a uh, lovely name, isn't it? Uh, I was always quite fond of that name. But yes, uh, I was reading in the Times that Anne had moved away with her father to Florence. Since then, nothing. And so, your romance ended? It, it will never. Yes. Yes. It ended. Quite. You never married? No. Never married. Though I did think of it every now and then. Uh, life in the service, it does get lonely at times. Uh, especially when the hunting season is off. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, but I'm not opposed to saying that a 
young man should get married. Uh, my word, I could have used someone to take care of me then, just someone to... You've outgrown that need? Yes, uh, yes, my man is quite capable, you see. Um, there goes that infernal music again. Why, it's a waltz. Yes, a waltz. Oh, what happy days those were. Music brings back so many memories. And the young people are happy. Oh, 42 years ago, I too could dance and laugh and sing. But now... You? Really? Yes, in this very house, 42 years ago. 42 years ago? 42 years ago? Upon uh, my word, so long ago is that? Is it so long ago? Well, 42 years. Uh, 42 years of, dare I say, we, we must have known each other back then. Perhaps. Perhaps. You know, um, this is rather foolish of me. I haven't asked your, for your name yet. Uh, may I have the pleasure? Uh, yes, perhaps we did know each other then. And again, perhaps we didn't. Right. Um, and... I suppose you've lived in England ever since? No, after you... <clears throat> that is, I've lived out of England a great deal. I have a small villa near Florence. Really? Lovely place, Florence. Yes, though a bit lonely at times. You know, I've always thought of Florence as quite pleasant. Ah, uh, goes to show you how Naive a young man can be. Yes. Yes. Um, but I suppose you have your children about you and all of that. Oh, no, I, I never married. Well, that's a bit unusual, isn't it? Is it? And I suppose you never will. No. No. You, you know, I'm not a... There goes that unspeakable music again! Yes, um, perhaps we better join the company, Colonel, or General Farrington. General Sir Richard Farrington. Oh, uh, pardon me. And may I have the pleasure of knowing whom I am indebted to for this lovely half hour of conversation. May, may I have the pleasure of knowing the name of the lady I've been speaking to? Why, yes. Um, you see, I am Lady Anne Trevors. The, the, the Lady Anne Trevors, no, no. Yes, Sir Richard. Oh, um, Lady Anne Trevors, um, oh my, oh my word, Lady Anne Trevors, upon uh, uh, my word, I, I would have recognized you the moment I saw you, but, uh, you know, I, I don't see so well, I don't see quite as well as I used to, and also the, uh, Lady Anne Trevors, and in this, in this very house, sir, yes, Richard, and, you said you never married. Never married, no. But, but I thought... You were mistaken. It was you I, I loved then. And so when you said we had to think it over very carefully, you really meant... Yes, I really meant... <laughs> Isn't that just like a woman? <laughs> Isn't that just like a woman? Is it? Ah, me. What happy days those were. What happy days? I do say, um, 
Is that a waltz they're playing? Yes, a waltz. And would you like to finish this waltz with me? Yes, Richard. Ryan. Oh, oh, hey. Hey, Ryan. It's been a while. Yeah, like four years. Go Valiant. Oh, geez, that really was our mascot. I know. What the hell is a Valiant? I don't know, but I'm just glad it wasn't another bulldog or eagle. Oh, I don't know. Bulldogs are nice. I guess, but how many other Valiants do you see out there? Not many. It's weird, but it's unique. Hey, that sounds like you. <laughs> okay, watch it, pal. Uh, you know I'm right. There he is, Mr. I'm Always Right. I mean, I am. <laughs> well, how is Mrs. I'm Always Right? Uh, who? You know, that girl you were dating, sophomore year. We all figured you two would have been long locked up by now. Aren't you? Uh, no, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that y'all two made so much sense together. Uh, yeah, I know. Everyone has said that exact same thing. So was it recently or did I miss the memo? Uh, it wasn't long after that uh, music tech class we took that spring. Uh, we just kind of drifted. Wow, I guess I missed a lot senior year. <laughs> she sure didn't. What does that mean? She studied abroad her senior year and met a, a Jean-Paul and didn't seem to miss you much at all. Well, that's what study abroad will do. Expanding your horizons and trying new things. I mean, I guess, but it didn't seem to help too much. Well, hey, it's been a few years. You're out in, where are you? Right now, I'm in Michigan. Michigan, what's in Michigan? Uh, my mom. I flew out to visit her a few months ago, and I had my ticket home for the 3rd of April, but then planes stopped flying out of Michigan right at the end of March. The stupid pandemic getting in the way of everything. I've been stuck inside for the past couple months because my roommate has some long thing, but today I went grocery shopping and it was the highlight of my week. Oh, I hear you. Um, I've been trying to track down all the people I can remember from Manhattansville, and to be honest, you're one of the first real people I've talked to since lockdown. Does your mom live in a ghost town or something? But, I mean, no, but all the people still around here, those kids who just never left their hometown, you know? Oh, I know those kids. So where is home for you? Uh, do it. What? Do it. Where? Uh, do it. I'm sorry, my headphones disconnected. Where? Oh, uh, DeWitt, this tiny town right outside Detroit. Um, the biggest attraction is the town cemetery. Oh, so it is a ghost town. But, no, no, no. Uh, the town didn't plan the layout very well. So some of the plots from the right angle, they look like, um, <laughs> and it's the rite of passage to take a picture at the tip, and we call it the Dewick pick. Uh, 
Well, that sure is Michigan. <laughs> hey, you grew up in Florida. Like, that's much better. Well, no, but our rite of passage is walking past two homeless guys doing it in an alley. We like to keep it classy in Jacksonville. I can tell. Uh, I see a guitar behind you. Do you play? Yes, I do. Um, but, you know, it's out of tune and I actually haven't played in a couple of months, so I'm just really rusty. Oh, yeah. OK, that just sounds like something that someone who can't play guitar would say. Hey, I can totally play, just not right now. Yeah, okay. I play for my students all the time. They love me. Wait, you said students, you're teaching? Yes, it's a funny story actually. Uh, well, I mean, it checks out. You were always running past everyone in the hallways with your face in a book trying to get to class. It makes sense you'd end up back in the classroom. Well, it's only because I was almost running late to everything because I was always trying to catch up on homework. I told of you to do homework. Oh, you sound just like one of my kids. But anyway, I started teaching because I missed the application deadline for an internship at Facebook. There you go, <laughs> being late again. I was late because I was taking real classes. Whoa, okay. Music therapy is a real class. And dance is a real major. I didn't have to say anything and you knew exactly what I was talking about. Defensive much. Okay, I have to be. Everyone is so, always so jealous of how easy the arts are until we have to pay our bills and exposure does not sign my rent check. So are you getting much exposure? Uh, I was before COVID, but now the parks are shut down and I'm actually out of work until DeSantis gets his head on straight. Wait, which park do you work at? Um, Universal. I dance for a couple of exhibits there. Well, look at you. You made it. I mean, I wouldn't exactly call dancing around in a minion costume making it. Hey, my kids love the minions. I'm sure they do. But I take it you don't. Not exactly. It's no American Ballet Theater. Well, no, but it's a gig. And you think I was thrilled to be a first grade teacher with a roommate instead of whatever a business major is supposed to be? Okay, well, that's not the same thing. No, Zip, no. So it's not some fancy ass theater in New York. But who's going to appreciate you more? The kid who flew all the way across country just to see your park or some stuffy old people with nothing better to do on a Thursday night. Okay, the stuffy old people pay so much better. Not my question. The kids are so messy. Still not what I asked. But okay, fine. I, I guess the kids are always happy to see me. And how does that make you feel? Good. And you can pay your bills with your universal money. Yeah. Then what is it a complaint about? Well, okay, fine. The kids are always happy to see me. Uh, I'm a professional artist and I, I get to spend my breaks chugging butter beer from Harry Potter World. And you work with Harry Potter World. I would die for a glass of butter beer right now. It is truly unmatched. I get the bottled stuff from my comic book store down the street, but it's just not the same. Uh, it's the glass, really. I might have uh, stolen one from work, but uh, anything I drink out of it tastes magical. I have one, too. <laughs> I would have taken you for a Slytherin, but I um, guess you're a Gryffindor. Why is that? Oh. I don't know. It's just a, a feeling I had uh, under there. Under where? <laughs> uh, exactly. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a shame they aren't authentic. They're Walmart. I I know. I'm sorry. I should just go. No, Erica, wait. <laughs> Thank you for talking with me. Uh, it was 
good being home with my mom for a while, but now I can start to feel, I can feel her starting to suck the joy out of everything. It's like doing time in Azkaban. Wait, did you say Azkaban? Oh, uh, yeah, it's the wizard prison from Harry Potter. Where Sirius was held. <laughs> in book three. No way. You like Harry Potter. And why wouldn't I? Because Harry Potter is for the kids who had to hide their flashlights from their mom at bedtime just so they could read late into the night. Hey, or it's for those kids who spent years waiting for a letter to show up on their doorstep so they could just go off and learn something actually applicable to the real world. It's half the reason I haven't applied at Universal. Only half? Okay, well, the part about being able to pay my bills was exciting too. Well, as a teacher, I wouldn't really know anything about that. Well, hey, if your teacher's schedule would allow, I'd love for you to come down sometime. I could show you around the park and it's my treat. That sounds really nice. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, it's my pleasure, really. Besides, you've seen me in my boxers. You kind of have to buy me dinner now. It's a date. Be a man. A real man wouldn't be bothered by this. Hey, how's it going? I haven't heard from you since the funeral. Hey, sorry, I need time to process. How are you, though? I'm sorry to hear about your brother. I'm good. We made it to States this year. Thanks. It's fine, I guess. I'm happy y'all made it to the stage, though. You earned it. How did y'all do in the game? Did you guys make it into the next round? We did so great. We have a lead currently. You know you can come back to practice, right? You're still on the team and one of our best players. Plus, everybody would be so happy to see you come back. I knew we would make it. I don't know if I'm ready to come back, though. Like, I want to, but just what if I'm not as good as I was before? I haven't played the game in months, so what if I'm the reason we lose? Grayson, don't be ridiculous. You're one of our best players. I don't think you went from being the best to being a beginner. Stop overthinking and come back to practice tomorrow. Get your lazy ass out here! You gotta pick up the slack since your brother's no longer around. Get a move on! Why couldn't you have stayed there for the night? I just wished I woke up when you called. And all I had to do was pick up the phone and you'd still be here. I could have helped if I just woke up. I just feel like I can't do anything right. Mom and dad remind me of that every day. I guess it is my fault for not answering. I just wish you found another way home. Why didn't you call anyone else? I wish I could talk to mom or dad, but they're always too busy to talk. Dad is always at work, and when he's not, he's just yelling at me, telling me I need to man up or to stop being so sensitive. And mom just sits in her office all day. I, I would talk to my friends, but they're busy with the gaming tournament this year, so I doubt they have time to talk. I just wish you were here to help me. I don't know how to do this or, or what I'm doing. How am I supposed to feel okay when I'm not? I want to feel better, but just after not being there for you, I don't think I deserve to feel better. It's my fault. Mom and dad don't want me to forget it either. It's not like I could. 
they act as though you don't exist. And like, I just, I slowly noticed that like, they're acting as if you never did. And they even emptied your room. Like, I, I tried stopping them, but I just, I just couldn't. And I, I only saved what I could. Like, you were my big brother. You're supposed to be there when I, give me advice when I needed it. I could talk to you without judgment or fear of being hurt. You never judged me or made me feel like I didn't matter. And you were always there to help me. So just, why did you get behind the wheel? It's a loss without you. I need you. Hey, man, who are you? Are you almost here? The game is about to start. Hurry up and get on. If you don't hurry, we're starting without you. Hello? You fly. Bot's going to take your place. If you don't start showing up, you're getting replaced. Join already. Hey, guys. Hey. Made it. About time. Finally. We can start. Destroy. Why is nobody covering me? What the hell? Why aren't you covering the base? Well, do your job, Gray. Where are you? Dude, get your shit together and do your damn job. Oh, come on. How did you not see them? They're fucking camping. Uh, I can't believe we're losing. Now they got the base. This is your fault, Grayson. I think it was all his fault. Just some. It, it, it's, it's all on us, but mainly Gray. That's it. I'm not the only one that didn't do great. Like, one of y'all could have covered base. Like, I was taking out the other team. Uh, last time I checked, that was my job. So maybe next time someone should say something. Why would you still be taking out the other team? You haven't played with us since your brother's death. Are you blind? We got our asses kicked because you didn't defend. Next time... Do better and protect the base. You aren't number one anymore, so stop acting like it. I'm gonna go. Y'all really teaming up on me about this? Like, why didn't y'all get on Max J when they didn't check the bombs? Or what about when Cameron got killed because she ran into a Claymore? And let's not forget Danny, who just ran into their spawn. Like, I'm not the only one who messed up. So how am I supposed to know my position if nobody communicates? All of this is on you. I'm done. Why did he leave? I'm not sure. Does anyone know why he got so mad? No clue. Hell if I know. He's just mad because it's his fault that we lost. And we just let him know. What? What was that about? I don't know. How do you not know? You just blow up on everyone. What's wrong? It's just... Everyone was yelling at me. Is that it? Yeah. I guess I overreacted a bit, didn't I? Just a little. Come back and try not to let it get to you. As long as we have fun tonight, that's all that matters. Yeah, you're right. Great. Don't move. Where at? I see nobody. Their locations are blocked. How? They aren't supposed to be able to do that in this game. How did they get past y'all? Like, I can't hold them back. Better till we get there. Dude, you killed me. What the fuck's wrong with you? Don't he meant to. Chill out. I'm down. Calm down. I obviously didn't mean to fucking kill you. Cameron, Danny, where are you? On my way. What do you mean, where am I? I'm dead. The gun because you didn't have my back. Got me. Oh, they got base again. Nice going, Gray. You can't even defend a base without screwing up. Danny, knock it off. It wasn't all his fault. Maybe you should have done something to help. Doesn't look like you did anything to help either, Jay. I agree with Danny. Gray should have had his back. He also shouldn't have killed me. Well, Danny, you're Cameron. Could have saved me, but no, they were too busy caring about themselves. We were doing great as a team before Grayson showed back up. It's his fault that we did horrible tonight. Well, if y'all do so much better without me, 
just consider me gone. Great. Look what you did, Danny. How are we supposed to practice now without a fifth player? We just we can just replace him with the bot. We can find someone new tomorrow. I'm gonna talk to him. What's going on? It's nothing. I don't believe you. It's fine. Stop acting like nothing happened and tell me what's wrong. No. Grayson, what's wrong? You know you can tell me anything, right? Mm-hmm. I'm here for you and I can listen and help you in any way. I just need you to talk to me. Please just leave me alone. No. Not until you tell me what's wrong. Why? It's not like it actually matters anyway. What do you mean? It's just that it won't matter. Nobody cares. Stop making excuses and tell me what's wrong. Fine. I, I just feel like I messed everything up. It was just two bad games. It's fine. No, it's not. It's not just about the game. Then what is it about? I, I can't do anything right. Nobody even likes me. That's not true. I like you. The team likes you. Your parents like you. Yeah, you do. That's it. Everyone else hates me because I was the reason they lost. And my parents hate me because I'm the reason Tommy's gone. We all love and care about you. Your parents are going through a really tough time, but I don't think they mean that you're the reason Tommy's gone. The team will get over losing. It's just a game. They're a bit irritated, yes, but they did that to themselves. No. They do mean it. How could they not when it's true? He's gone because of me. No, he's gone because he made the decision to drive while intoxicated. It had nothing to do with you. You weren't the one driving or drunk at all. What's the point? I wasn't the one driving. If I had, he would be here right now. Will you listen to me? It's not your fault. You were tired, you needed sleep, so you slept. You were taking care of yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. I know you guys are close and you looked up to him, but at the end of the day though, this is not your fault and you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I just don't know what to do anymore, Cam. I miss him. I, I want to talk to him, talk about him with my parents, but they don't. He was my big brother and, and he has been there my entire life and now he's gone and I'm just stuck here. You can still talk about him. You have so many memories of him and hang on to those, but don't look at them as if they're sad. Y'all were happy having a blast with the whole family. And if your parents won't listen, then make them. You deserve to be able to talk about this with your own parents. He was their son too, and I'm sure they need to talk as well. Everything will be okay, I promise. But whenever I show anything, dad gets angry and starts yelling at me. I'm so tired of being yelled at. Mom lets it happen and walks away. I know she does it because she hates when dad yells. I know, and I wish I could stop that. But it's time that you express how you feel and remind them that they're not the only one struggling with the loss of Tommy. You know he's still with you guys. Thank you, Cameron. I'll talk to you later. Anytime. I'll see you later. I cannot wait for finals, y'all. We are going to kick ass. Hell yeah, we are. Dude, if we won, do you know how much we would get each? I would finally have enough to fix my car. Oh, do you know how many things I could get off that dollar menu? Or how many fish I could get? Wait, no. I could finally get one of those hamster balls. But for humans, do you know how cool that would be? What the hell are you on? I will get the newest counties with all the upgrades and features. Danny, be nice. It sounds cool, Jay. Hey, have y'all heard from Grayson since he left? I would go on an awesome trip somewhere. Also, no, why, why would we? You seem pretty serious about leaving. We don't need him anyway. We will hold Charles next weekend for a new teammate. Hopefully, they can do their job. I'm kind of worried about him. He doesn't seem like himself. I've never seen him get mad at a game or get mad at us for messing around. 
even when Danny takes things a little too far, he'll also usually text me a few times a day and we'll walk to the game store every Mondays and Saturdays, but he hasn't been showing up. Cameron, you're his best friend, right? Do you know anything? Sorry, Jay, but it isn't my place to say anything. I'm sure when he's ready to talk, he will. And also, he's still on the team. We're not letting him go. Why not? He's, he's not even good now. Why, why would we keep him if we, we want to win? I agree with Max. Hey, guys. I'm, I'm sorry for earlier. Are you okay? I'm sorry I haven't checked in lately. Hey, man. Welcome back. Hey. Everyone was just asking about you. I need to tell y'all something. I have been struggling since Tommy's death, and I kept thinking it was my fault, even though it wasn't. I didn't know, and I still am working on how to handle my emotions and just figure out how to do things alone. Just honestly, it's just not okay. I feel so lost and broken. Tommy was always there to help me, and now he isn't. And I just feel so alone. Look, dude, nobody's going to respect you if you keep acting like this. You need to man up, just get over it, and yourself. You sound like a girl for how much you're complaining. Danny, take a chill pill, bro. Grayson, continue to ignore Danny, please. It's just nobody in my family wants to talk about Tommy. And I knew you guys were busy with the tournament, so... I thought I couldn't talk to y'all either. Just still can't grasp that he's really gone. I'm sorry about costing all the game. Hey, don't sweat the game. It was just a practice match, and we're sorry too. We shouldn't have gotten so mad at you. We just got so used to it being the four of us and a bot mainly, except the last two games when my dad filled in. If there's any way we can help, please let us know. We're all, we all care about you and want to help. You get through this tough time. I didn't even know that you was going through. I didn't even notice how you felt, honestly. I thought you were just trying to get attention. I'm sorry. And I'm also sorry about saying all those mean things to you. Grayson. You can always talk to us about anything. Don't forget that. Whether we're practicing or not, we are here for you. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. How about one more game? Then we call it a night. I'm down. Oh, yeah? Let's do it. Does that mean I'm still on the team? Of course you are. We can never replace you. Go the ball. Get to the target. They're coming from behind. Watch out. Everyone be on alert. They jammed our radars. I'm about to go down. I need backup. I got you. To your right. That was close. Thanks, Jay. No problem, bro. Somebody needs to get to the bomb. Oh, what, two of us go, so there's backup? Sounds good, but who? I vote Grayson and Jay. Agreed. I think that's a good choice. Yay! All right, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, we won. Nice going. This is our best match yet. Perfect timing, guys. I'm heading to bed. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Sleep sounds great. Good night, guys. Good night. Night. Night.